What's going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? And as you can see, this is an iPhone 4. And yes, this is an iPhone 4. This is not an iPhone 4 as they're running iOS 7. And what I'm going to be doing in this video today is like the way iOS updates have work in terms of the older devices is that at a certain point, they'll reach a certain generation of iOS. And next thing you know, all those features are not supported. And so you're limited on some of the features if you're on older hardware like I am with the iPhone 4 versus the newer devices like the iPhone 5, the iPod Touch 5th generation, and the newly just released uh, iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is letting you guys know what features uh, that are not supported on the iPhone 4 uh, when it's on iOS 7. So first thing I want to mention is, well, first of all, it's compatible with iOS 7. There you go. And then the next feature, well, iTunes Radio, it is supported on the iPhone 4. If you go into the music app right here, and I actually already hide it, and you got radio right there, there's iTunes Radio. So iTunes Radio is supported. Um, now we're onto a feature that's not supported on the iPhone 4, and that is AirDrop. Now, AirDrop is basically where you can share documents or pictures, whatever you guys want to share with uh, iOS devices that are around you. That way you don't have to do it through email. And to prove this, slide up on the control center. And as you can see, you don't have an AirDrop button right there. And so uh, that is something that is missing from the iPhone 4. Another, another thing that is actually supported on the iPhone 4 is actually photos. In the photos app, you have the filters on there so that way it'll organize all your pictures into the year or album whatever uh, uh, your iPhone on iOS 7 organizes it into and another thing is of course Siri because Siri was first released on the iPhone 4 instead you get voice control but the user interface is actually redesigned you know, because of iOS 7 And as you can see, that's your new voice control, so you can do things like next song, dial, what's playing, FaceTime, Genius, and all that, that other good stuff right there. So I'm just going to shut it off right there. And another feature, well, that's pretty much like you know, all the main features so far. You know, like some of the you know, features that you don't really notice too often, you know, unless if you're really picky about it, is the parallax effect. And the parallax effect is basically where you can move your device around and then your wallpaper kind of goes around with it as well with the accelerometer. That is gone on the iPhone 4. As you can see, I'm moving up my device and it is not moving up at all. And one thing I want to show you guys is that when you're in the wallpapers, you know, trying to pick your uh, wallpapers and you want the parallax effect, you'll notice that the wallpapers that Apple has given you uh, you only got the stills wallpaper. Uh, you don't even have the, uh, the the one with all the motion and all the bubbles. That's only on the newer devices. All you have is these uh, still wallpapers. And on the newer devices, they'll move as you move your device. But it, with the iPhone 4, it does not do that. I guess that's because the hardware just can't support it. And as far as the performance of the iPhone 4 on iOS 7, it hasn't been the best, although it is Definitely a lot better than the iPhone 3G running iOS 4.0. And its latest update on the 3G was iOS 4.2.1. After that, it has been outdated, so that's an ancient product. And so, overall, these are the features that aren't supported on iOS 7. Uh, obviously, th this can't be all of them, but these are just some of the features that aren't supported on the iPhone 4 while it's on iOS 7. But at least it was able to get the update. I wasn't too crazy about iOS 7 on my iPhone 4 at first, but as I got used to it, I come to realize that it's actually a lot better than iOS 4 running on the iPhone 3G and uh, iPhone OS 3.1.3 running on the first generation iPhone. Well, I never used the first generation iPhone before, so but I have used the first generation iPod Touch before, and that thing on iPhone OS 3.1.3 was a total disaster in my opinion. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and you now what do you guys think about iOS 7 on the iPhone 4? Do you think it was a waste, or did you think that it's still a solid update even though it's lacking on some of these features? Uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And of course, one thing I want to note is that uh, I did notice a decrease in battery life before, but that's how it is with 
that every generation of iOS, like when you get a new update to the generation of iOS, if you guys understand my point. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day now, and take care.